Hi guys, it is Agota here. Welcome to my channel. You probably know from my previous videos that um, I spent this Christmas in Pakistan. And uh, as I promised in the previous video, I made the Mezes Kalac, the Hungarian biscuit. I will show it in this video and I made it step by step quite slowly. So you are really welcome to join me and let's bake together. It is very delicious, so it's worth it. Hi guys, so now we are preparing for Christmas. I'm already wearing my Pakistani Christmas dress and I'm going to make this Hungarian cookie called Nezesh Karaj. I have all the ingredients here already. We need some flour, it's one kilogram of flour. We need baking powder, three eggs. What I like in this country, they have these super white eggs. In Hungary, we have brown ones. These look pretty. Uh, we will use some honey, some butter, I'm using light butter, and uh, sweetener. Okay, so we will make a lot because guests are going to come. So I'm using the whole kilogram of flour and putting it in this bowl. I should have asked for a scissor, but yeah, I can open it with my bare hands. I always start with the dry ingredients because then I can stir them and mix them well and only put the wet ones in after. This way I feel like the flavors are more spread out. It's just easier to stir when things are still powdery. powdery. Yeah. A lot of flour. Okay. So here uh, the main spices for a mezesh kolach is cloves and cinnamon and all of them needs to be a half tablespoon I'm trying to do it very elegantly because it's video tape. So here, half tablespoon of this and half tablespoon of this. Maybe it's a small tablespoon, a little bit more. Yeah, like this. Okay, and now you would normally put in sugar and put in a sweetener. It's uh, sucralose, it tastes similar to almost the same as sugar actually. And I need 25. Here we will probably cut in because. Okay, that's all. It's 60 grams. I actually need both. Yeah. So first I will not add that much because I actually didn't try this sweetener before. And if it's not sweet enough, I would just add more. I don't want it to make extremely sweet because honey is coming in there too. So I think I will do three tablespoons of this. And then let's see if we need more later or not. Okay, so we have now almost all the dry ingredients. We need the baking powder too. Uh, with that one, I need three teaspoons. One. Oh, 
took it to and it was a bit more so uh, three <laughs> If you put a little bit more, it's actually not a problem because it will just rise up even fluffier, which I personally like. And later on, as it gets more biscuit like, it will flatten out. So it's no problem to use a little bit more. But don't use less because then it will just stay flat and too hard and not that soft. Mmm, yummy! <laughs> Okay, the dry ingredients are all stored. Now can come the liquid ones. And later I will switch from the spoon to my hand, so I'm removing my watch. I will have the dough only. Um, so now I'm melting the butter. I'm checking how much butter I need. Okay, this much plus a bit of this. So usually it's not written in the recipes, but to make it easier to stir into the powder, I always warm it up a little bit so it gets softer. And it will just be so much easier to work with. So I put it in the microwave. Where is the microwave? Here. Okay, so here is the melted butter. As you see, it became all liquid, so we just easy to pour on the powder, like that. Perfect. The other one I already placed in here while I was waiting for this butter. It's just, it will get warm from this warm butter and mix it together. Yeah. So now we stir it. I'm making some Hungarian cookies called Mezes Kolács and oh. I'm videoing it also. <laughs> but it's okay, you can say hi to Hello. Hello. <laughs> Cook, so we are baking, eh? Yes, no. for, for you and the other guests. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Yes. So now we are going to add the honey. <laughs> We need 25 decograms, which is exactly this. It used to be 300, so now it looks like it's the perfect amount. Let's put all of it in there. This is actually my first cooking show. <laughs> okay, so after this point, I will have to change into stirring it with my hand. I washed it carefully, so don't worry. Okay, and this will take for a while, so let's just continue the video from the point that it looks more like a dough. <laughs> okay, 
it so the dough is all massaged together you can see it's totally thick like this it doesn't even flow or anything so now I will make it into a big bowl I forgot to mention at the beginning we need extra flour we will use this to coat this to make it more into a bowl and to put it on the table because we will have to roll it out and if you don't use flour on there, then it is going to stick to the rod. Yeah, so here it is. It's like a soccer ball. Yeah, there's a few little pieces left. I'm just adding that. It is so delicious, I don't want to miss even the little pieces out. I'm slapping it because if I leave these cracks, then when I roll it out, the cracks will remain and it will break into half. So I have to make sure it fits all together as a tight ball. If the crack really doesn't want to stay, then you can pinch it together. Put it back. Okay, it's getting to look nice. So here it is, now I'm just covering it with flour. This can go away. I'm going to pour the flour on the table. And right here. And then I'm just all put the flour in it. And you can keep stuffing it a little bit to cover the flour everywhere. Okay, and now this is done. I'm flattening it out first with my hand to get it nicely spread it out, and then I'm going to use the rod to make it even more flat. Yeah, you can see it's easy. You just press your weight on the cake. Yeah, till you get it like this shaped. When you make this, make sure that you have plenty of space on your uh, table. Yes, as it spreads out, it will get quite large. Especially if you do a big amount like I did, I'm doing right now. Uh, when you flatten it out, you would like to get like a one centimeter thick dough. Don't make it too flat, then it will get too crispy. So one centimeter is really perfect size. Or maybe even less. I don't know, it's like maybe between a half and one centimeter. <laughs> I didn't actually measure it, I kind of just do it by the feeling. That's my grandma showed it to me. Okay, so this is this cake is in our tradition. We often make it at Santa Claus time. Um, you know Americans prepare the chocolate chip cookies, we prepare the Sunday Mises collage. 
that since uh, everybody usually likes it to be repeated again at Christmas time. But this is this is my first time to make it here in Pakistan for my in-laws. I'm actually very excited. I hope they will like it. Okay, so as you see, I flattened out this side. I'm going to cut out the shapes and put it in the oven and then I will make a ball again and flatten it out again and keep repeating till I run out of dough. So now here are these. I will, usually I would use cooking paper. Now we have the foil. It works with foil, thank you. So I put the foil Okay, so I have the pan prepared with the foil and now I'm going to make stamps with these. Normally often at home I just make it with circles but now I want it to look really beautiful. I'm going to make all these star and bell and moon and heart and the falling star and the Christmas tree shape. <laughs> So first I will make, yeah, I'll just make a line of stars and then switch to the next one. Yeah, when you make this, the process can last a while, so I recommend to put some music on. It just makes it makes it into a fun thing to do, and you will not mind spending so much time in the kitchen. At this time, I always put on some Christmas music. Okay, so I made a line of stars. Now let's make a line of Christmas trees. Okay, so I'm setting the alarm and 
let us wait till it will get ready. Okay, so we took it out from the oven. The sad news that half of the tray and the oven is not really even, I think. This one got like half burnt, as you see. These on the side are good, but the above tray, these ones just stay good, like as you see. It's all fine. So I think now, yeah, I would like to try one for the video, this is really fun. this video if you haven't done it yet then please like and subscribe and leave me a comment below let me know what you think thank you for watching and see you in the next video